Okay, so hopefully you have a bit of an understanding about what Adobe Illustrator is and how it can be used for laser cutting. I'm going to go through some of the basic functions for you now. Open up Illustrator and you can follow this exercise if you'd like to learn. Um, file New and it gives you a whole bunch of options here. You have the options for different print sizes, A4, A3. You have film and video sizes, so if you wanted to make a title or something for uh, 1080 video or 720p video, you could do that. I'm going to create my own custom one because with laser cutting you want to be able to create whatever custom sizes you want. So let's do 200 by 200 millimeters and create. Okay, and there we have a square, 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. Um, these are the basic functions I'm going to go through with you. So I've talked to you about page setup briefly. We're going to go through the pen tool, selection tools, and anchor points. The pen tool over here, pen tool P, but if you click and hold down, you can actually see there are a few different options there. So I'm going to go through all of those with you, starting with the pen tool. So uh, either click P or click on the pen tool. And over here, start click and click, 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 and you'll notice that we are getting straight lines. If you press enter, that'll finish that uh, set of lines for you. If I click and drag, you notice you get these uh, handles, they're called, and click and drag and you create a curved line. Uh, so have a go of doing that as well. You notice they're the two options that you have for using the pen tool. Press enter to finish that once again. Now, Within that pen tool, you'll notice there is also a plus and a minus sign. So this is for adding anchor points. We are going to, um, it actually automatically comes up. You see there's a star on that pen, on, on the pen cursor, there's a star there at the moment. If I hover over a line, it turns into a plus sign. If I hover over an anchor point, it turns into a minus sign. So if I click there, it adds another anchor point. If I click here, it adds another anchor point. If I click on an anchor point, it removes that anchor point. I can remove that anchor point. Same over here. Um, I can remove that anchor point. I can add, oh, it's not letting me add on the straight line. So you, if you wanted to, you can press plus sign and add an anchor point. So that's um, adding and removing anchor points. Now with the selection tool, there are two selection tools. One of them is your main selection tool, which is V, being the shortcut key direct selection tool which is A. So the main selection tool selects the whole body that you've just drawn or the whole shape okay, and you can move that around if you need to. If I wanted to use the direct selection tool which is A, so I'll click A now and you'll notice you can actually click individual components and move them around. So I can click on the anchor points, I can click on the lines if I click on a line, it kind of drags the whole line. On this one, if I was to click the direct select tool, I can click on the anchor point here. I can also click on the handles and change the handles around. Okay, so that's what I'd like you to have a go at doing, is making sure you understand how to use the pen tool, how to add, no add nodes or anchor points, how to move them around, how to change handles, how to um, use both types of selection tool, the selection tool and the direct selection tool. And just as another option for you, on, when you're on the direct selection tool, you can click on an anchor point and you can modify it. So if you wanted to take, uh, if you wanted to convert it to a corner, for example, you can click on this up here and this has become a corner. And if you want to make it smooth, you can make it smooth. You have the option of removing the anchor point completely. Let's click on another one. Uh, you can create a corner and then um, use this little radius tool to modify the radius. You see that easier over here perhaps. So if I convert it to a corner, um, you can smooth that radius over. So keep your eye out on what's up here for different functions that are and that you can access when you're on individual tools.